Now let's start by selecting a sound to build our first song. I'm going to start off with a guitar sound. So I can either scroll down or I can click on the name up here and that will sort the names in alphabetical order. If I want some additional real estate, I can just hover right at the top here and you see that my cursor turned into an up and down arrow and click, hold and drag. So I said I was going to start off with guitar. Guitar lead 1A. Now to add that to your track, simply click and drag it. And then when you got it set where you want to, just release. Now you're given another prompt the first time you add a sound to your timeline. This asks the question, use best sounding project tempo and key. Now this sound is in the tempo of 133 in the key of E. Now if you remember, our project was in the tempo of 120 in the key of C. So if you want to use the best sound for this particular sound, you'll agree and say yes and you'll switch the project to 133 in the key of E. Now I'm just going to reverse that move. There's another way that you can add it, which we spoke about in an earlier video, is to go to this plus sign right next to the name. Now if you click this plus sign, it will add the sound to the selected track. Now you'll notice that it added the sound not at the beginning. That's because my caret, which is this little icon here, if you click anywhere on the timeline, you'll see two little triangles at either corner. That's my caret mark, and it'll add the sound to where that caret was. If you want it to start at the beginning, just simply drag it over. I'm going to reduce the window size here a little bit so I can see the rest of my channels. Click Rewind to the beginning and then push Play and I can preview. It's a little bit loud but we'll see how it compares when we start adding the rest of the sounds. The next sound I want to add is my drum and snare. Just drag that up to track 2 and release. Also notice that the track names change automatically and switch to the name of that sound. If you want to switch these names, again, just double click and type in a new name. So let's compare the lead guitar to the drums. Rewind to the beginning and push play. Way too loud. So I'm going to do a rough adjustment and fine tune it while I'm actually previewing it. I think that'll work for right now. I like that, but it's a little short little clip. So if I want to make this clip longer, again, I can go locate the sound, but if I have a lot of sounds on my tracks, you'll spend too much time locating each sound. Instead, we can just go up next to the preview play button is add a loop. Click on this and it just adds another loop to the back of the previous loop. Now I don't want the drums to come in right away, I want a little bit of guitar, so I can just simply click and hold and move this over. It's a little bit jagged when it's moving, that's because my snapping is set to eighth notes, which is what I want. If you click on the drop down menu, you could switch that at any time, turning it off or putting it to a different parameter such as half, quarter, eighth, sixteenths, etc. So let's preview what we've done so far. Okay, so far so good. Next, I want to add a bass line. So since I'm in alphabetical order here, I'll just scroll upwards and locate my bass sound. That's the one I want, and I want it to come in the same time as the drums. So see now when I'm holding it here, you'll see the carrots 
move in eighth note increments. So I'll just move it to the beginning of measure two and release. Rewind to the beginning and preview. See, I adjusted the bass while I was previewing it to allow it to sit a little bit better in the song. Obviously, I want to lengthen the drums, so I'll click the Add Loop button and the bass. Now, another thing I want to point out while we're here is that I know that my drums and bass are going to start at the beginning of the second measure. And versus adjusting each one of them in case I do change my mind, if I click and select the drums and the snare in track two, hold down my shift button and click once on the bass, then right click, I'll go down to the bottom of the menu and select link selected clips. What happens now is that these two clips are linked. So if I drag one of them, I drag both of them. Now you'll find this increasingly useful the more tracks and the more loops that you add. So that way if you're making major moves, they'll always be linked and move together. Now between the preview play button and the add loop button is the unlink button. That way you can quickly unlink these sounds if you needed to. Okay, let's select track four. The next thing I want to do is add a rhythm guitar. And I'll drag that up to my track. I also want that to start at measure two. I could preview that. Okay, so far so good. I also want to add a synth part to that. So I will go down here and look for a synth. So I will select that one and drag it up to my timeline. And rewind to the beginning and preview. <laughs> 